ओम शांति वेलकम टू लेवेंथ ऑफ नवम्बर्स गॉडली ब्लेसिंग हाउ डू वी बिकम अ डिटैच ऑब्जर्वर एंड हाउ डू वी कंसर आसल्स टू बी सेपरेट फ्रॉम दिस फिजिकल रियलिटी अराउंड दिस एंड दैट इज वॉट वी लर्न इन ब्रह्म कुमार इज माई डेली बेसिस बट इट्स अ प्रैक्टिस टू नॉट जस्ट अ लर्निंग बट अ प्रैक्टिस दैट इज सपोज टू बी डन ऑन द लर्निंग दैट मीन्स द नॉलेज सो गॉड सेज मे यू बी योग युक्त एंड रिमेन बियॉन्ड बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस by constantly considering yourself to be a co-charitor and a detached observer so there's a difference may you be yogyukt and remain beyond body consciousness this physical consciousness and physical surroundings by constantly considering yourself to be a charitor that means i'm someone who is using this physical body to do my karma and that is what i am trying to practice on a daily basis as much as possible even if i remember it once or twice in a day it's good and it has to be increased the frequency has to be increased the easy way to become yog yukt is to move along while constantly considering yourself to be a charioter charioter means that somebody who is running a chariot and where is the chariot it has got five horses the five senses are the five horses which are being controlled by the charioter that is the soul that i am so right now i the soul i'm controlling my mouth and i'm speaking of the knowledge which is there within my intellect so i this soul i am the one who drives the chariot this physical body is the chariot this awareness cons- automatically makes you detach from your chariot your body that means we don't come into physical consciousness for our strength for our power for our survival we don't depend upon the physical body and the physical consciousness yes it is there but it is not the means to an end so god says the this awareness automatically makes you detach from your chariot your body and from any type of body consciousness so body consciousness is very elaborate it uh, engulfs or it sheds light on uh, physical attainments physical beauty physical wealth physical things around us even our property even the land even the house which we live in and the post and the positions and accolades and there's so much more so that is body consciousness when you do not have any body consciousness you easily become yog yukt that means we are constantly in touch with god and we are using the methods of uh, humility patience tolerance kindness courage discipline and many more things which don't come when we have an ego of the power and post and position we use something totally opposite of all these qualities right and every action you perform will be yukti yukt will be smart will be less uh, reactive in situations and that's yukti yukt by considering yourself to be a co-charioter all your physical senses will stay under your control i'm a co-charioter i am taking control of the five senses i decide where where do i see what do i hear what do i speak what do i feel what do i sense and it all depends upon me whether i go in that direction or not such a soul is not controlled by his physical senses doesn't simple example is that there's a pastry lying in front of you now what do you do yes you are salivating but do you have self control can you as a soul tell your mouth that stop salivating you are not going to get a complete permanent happiness by feeding on that yes once in a while it's okay but you are supposed to take care of your physical health and much more so that's one of the simple and a very very basic example you can go in for any more depth about it by coming over to brahma kumari center and learn the in depth knowledge om shanti with this